Our message to the government is a simple one. Recommit to your bipartisan commitment of 0.5% of gross national income to foreign aid by 2015. And honour the commitment to the world's poorest. So we're demonstrating uh, peacefully uh, in response to the Australian government's decision to break its prom promise on aid. Um, a broken promise that means that $2.9 billion over four years won't be getting to the, the poorest people in the world. World Vision estimates based on um, UN statistics that this could affect in between 200,000 and 300,000 lives in the developing world. And what we know is that women and children are the most affected by cuts in foreign aid. So when we know that there's something like 7.6 million kids under five dying every year from preventable causes and 340,000 women dying in pregnancy and childbirth, we know that it's these figures that are going to remain the same because of these aid deferrals. So it's the people who are most vulnerable who are going to be most affected. My message to the government is... My message to the government is... My message to the Australian government. My message to the Australian government. My message to the Australian government. My message... My message. My message... My message to the Australian government. My message to the government is to recommit 0.5% of GNI for foreign aid. Is to recommit 0.5% GNI to foreign aid. Is to honour its promise and to recommit 0.5% of GNI to foreign aid. Is to recommit 0.5% of the GNI to foreign aid. Our message to the Australian government is to recommit 0.5% of the gross national income to foreign aid before or by 2015. To, to commit to 0.5% of GNI by 2015.